2001 through 2012 Ford Ranger with the 4.0 liter engine serpentine belt replacement. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'm going to walk you through the steps of replacing that belt. We're going to get started by removing the air snorkel and the top engine cover here. The top engine cover are held on with 7 millimeter uh, bolts. To make quick work of that, I'm going to use the Milwaukee M18 fuel impact wrench. It makes quick work of jobs like this. There's going to be three screws in total to remove the top cover here. Once you get the cover removed, we need to loosen up the hose clamps here and here on the air snorkel. On my vehicle, one of them is an 8 millimeter and the other is a 10 millimeter. I'm using the, uh, the Milwaukee again to uh, loosen that up. It has a variable trigger so I can slowly uh, loosen up the clamps. The variable trigger on this tool is a, a nice little feature. Now we need to remove this vent line here. And to do that, I use a flat blade screwdriver and push the little tab backwards and then downwards to release the catch. So you push it backwards like this and then down like that. And then once you got it pushed down, then you can just push the hose off. Now the wire loom is connected to the air snorkel here, so we need to pop that out. I just used a flat blade screwdriver to help pop the wire loom out of the boot there. Once you get that off now, you can go ahead and pull the boot off the air box here and off the throttle body. Once you got the boot off, our next step is to release the tension from the tensioner here. And to do that, you're going to need a belt tensioning tool like this. I will link this up in the description of the video. So what you'll do is you'll take the, the, the tool handle and the uh, this portion of the tool, 3 8 adapter that fits into the tool, and then you'll take this little portion of it and fit it into the uh, serpentine belt here. So the tool is a, a ratcheting tool, so you want to make sure it's set up where, it, where the tension goes counterclockwise. So you're kind of loosening it. So you'll spring it over to the left. Once you got it sprung over, you can pop the belt off. Then you can go ahead and pull the belt out of the car. I don't worry too much about it, uh, the routing of it, because there's a diagram right here on the cowling of the car. But it is a good idea to kind of look how the belt is routed and how when you unroute it. And that'll help you when you go to put it back on. So to kind of um, give you an idea of how everything is routed. So you may notice when you pull the belt out that it's all onto the passenger side of the pulley here on the crank pulley here and it routes over the water pump towards the right. So when you go to put this back in that what you're going to do is you're going to feed it down on the left side of the uh, crank pulley if you're looking facing the engine or towards the passenger side of the vehicle. So what you do is you route the belt down first and then uh, follow the diagram here on the cowling here. So what I did was I routed the belt down here and I looped it around the crank pulley and to help do that, I reached my hand down on the on the driver's side here and, and held the uh, the belt on the crank pulley. Then I looped it over the water pump. And once you get it looped over the water pump, then you can go down over the, uh, the AC compressor and over the power steering pump here. And once you got it pulled over these two pulleys, then what I like to do is kind of pull the slack over towards the passenger side of the vehicle now. On the passenger side, it's going to slip under the tensioner pulley like this, and then, and then what you do is put it under the idler pulley there, and then you tension the tensioner over back over to the left. And when you do this, it's, when you release the tensioner, it's going to spring all the way over to the, towards the driver's side, so it's quite a distance to spring it over. So you spring it all the way back over left as far as it'll go, then you can slip the belt on over the alternator last. And then what you're going to do is you're, at, um, you're going to, before you release the tension, you're just going to kind of double check that the belt is uh, on all the pulleys and in all the grooves. Once you're satisfied that the belt is on all the pulleys and in all the grooves, then you can go ahead and remove the tool. Then you can go ahead and install the uh, air snorkel boot back on and tighten the hose clamps. Put the wire loom back into the boot here. And then you're going to plug the vent line back in. So what I did is flipped it back into the normal position. And then you just kind of uh, put the hose onto the port here and then you pull the hose you may have to back your hand up with the with the boot here and push it and you pull the the hose back onto the port and you'll hear it click and then you can go ahead and install the top engine cover with the th with the three bolt i will link up all the parts and tools that i use in this video in the description that way if you need to pick those up you can find those there and that'll complete the job of replacing the serpentine belt on a 2001 through 2012 Ford Ranger with a 4.0 liter engine. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe. Invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. And I'd like to thank you again for watching.